Hi, I'm Daniel Robb, hairstylist from Los Angeles, California. Today I'm going to show you how to cut layers into short hair. So when I decide to layer short hair, uh, the first thing I think of is where am I going to part the hair or where is the client going to part their hair, which side they're going to wear their hair to. Once I've decided that, then I'll move on to uh, deciding how short I want the layers to be. In this case, uh, I'm going to cut layers that are on the longer side so that the hair has some more width and volume um, rather than a tighter, shorter, cropped look closer to the head. Next, I'm going to start the cutting. And usually what I like to do is start at the front of the face and the hairline and work my way around the head. So I make a guide with the first section of hair and I bring the hair up and trim off the piece that I need to start creating the line or the guide that I'm going to use to put my layers in. Then I make another parting and another section of hair and I lift the hair up again and I trim off just enough hair so I get that balanced layer that I'm looking to have. So I'm moving around the head. I take a section, lift the hair up to where I see the ends that I want to cut and trim those pieces off. The nice thing about this is that you can take off any dry ends without cutting the hair too short and still get a beautifully lightly layered style that gives the client a little bit more lift in their hair rather than having it hang all one length. To this point, I've been layering the hair and trimming off the ends by bringing the hair upwards. But you might have asked yourself, why isn't he trimming any of the hair below the occipital bone or this level here? If the client is, if their hair is in good shape, you can let that hair drop out because that's what creates the layered effect. But if you want to trim off any dry ends in this back area, you can easily move down the head like I'm doing here and just trim off the little bits, just the little ends, just to ensure that you've done a complete haircut, taking off any dry split ends if your client has them. If they don't, there isn't any need to do that, but that is an option. So you may have noticed that I started on the left side of the head. That's actually just where I naturally go to first. Uh, you can start on any side of the head that you want, whatever's comfortable for you. Uh, I could have done the same cut starting on the right side. I think generally if the hair is a side part, it's easier to start on the side that has less hair moving around to the side that has more. But if it's a middle part, you can start on either side and easily get a nice balanced look. So now that you're done putting your layers in short hair, it should be an absolute snap to blow dry and your client should be thrilled with the end result. I'm Daniel Robb and thank you for watching my video on how to cut layers in short hair.